Time Portland professor is taking her talents from the classroom to the stage. Phyllis Yes created a play about a subject that nobody really wants to talk about. It can be kind of uncomfortable, but it is resonating with audiences and shows are selling out, making her my next Women Crush Wednesday. How's that for colorful? Phyllis Yes has always been an artist. That's got to be fatter. The well-known painter, also an art professor at Lewis and Clark College for more than two decades. I taught contemporary art and at the college painting and drawing. And that's what you are known for. That's right. In town. Until the play came along. My mother started showing serious signs of aging. The play is Phyllis's first and portrays parents with dementia and their children who don't know how to deal with it. I'm no pro expert at it, but I can't tell you how many people said, did you have a videotape at my house? They, they recognize themselves in the play. It is personal for Phyllis, who wrote it after taking care of her own aging mother, an angry stepfather and a sister in another state. It is such a struggle within the family for safety versus freedom. Don't tell us what we should do. The show debuted in 2018 at Portland's Coho Theater and has been performed all across the country, even off Broadway in New York. Ooh. I'm concerned. It also caught the attention of a top hospice care doctor in Minnesota, who now joins the audience after the play for a panel discussion about end of life issues that Phyllis knows can be complex, but hopes her play sparks a conversation about a serious subject with a few laughs sprinkled in. I've been in audiences before. I'd like to leave with a little glimmer of hope and if not happiness, at least there was love in the end. At least there was love. And Phyllis, if you're watching, thank you for sharing this. We had such a great conversation during that interview. Uh, Phyllis is wonderful. And she says, despite some of these hardships that a lot of us go through, there is a lot of love in her family. For example, every day her stepfather would say, good morning, Miss America, to her mother, which really meant a lot, especially in the days before her mother died. That, by the way, is also the name of the play, which you can see at Mirabella Portland, which is a retirement home on the South Waterfront coming up on May 16th. I'm going to try with all my might to be there because I want to see it for Phyllis. We'll put all of those details at coin.com. And while you're there at the coin website, be sure to send me a note about who you think should be my next Women Crush Wednesday. Oh, man.